Good morning to everyone who have joined us and taken time out of your weekends to be with us today on this very momentous occasion. Uh, yes, we have been waiting to share the launch of what seems to be the most unique concept from Concord yet. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the panelists for today's webinar, uh, Ms. Krishma, the Executive Director at Concord, Mr. Kranti Alladi, Head of Sales and Marketing, Mr. Akshay, Project Sales Head. We have reached, we have had two long decades of learning and two decades of building trust to be where we are today. One of the most respected names in the, in the residential development sector, which is one of the toughest realms, right? To excel, as we all know, now it's time we feel to make our next move, our next foray into the commercial development sector with Concord eConnects. Handing over the entire presentation to the panelists. Ms. Krishma, please take it from me. Thank you, Nisha. As most of you know, I have had over two decades of learning and two decades of building trust to, to be where we are. We are one of the most reputed names in the residential development sector, but now we feel it's time that we make our next move. The next foray into the commercial real estate sector with Concord Econex. As we all know, the pandemic has affected all of us. Life has changed so much after the pandemic and most importantly, pandemic has affected the way we work. We have seen a lot of new trends that have emerged post pandemic. We have seen people working remotely. We have seen corporate companies adopting to new cultures, work from home. People are going back and working remotely. They're going back to their hometowns. And most importantly, we have seen a lot of adaptation with new technologies, we've seen video conferencing. We have seen a lot of digital tools that you know people are adapting and working we have also seen a lot of new models that have been evolving in workspaces some of them being hybrid we have seen a lot of companies going hybrid work from home is an emerging trend While remote working has been adopted, it has also become more evident that working from office is needed for creativity collaboration. We have also seen that there has been a newfound appreciation for nature within workspaces. They have realized, you know, we need bigger spaces, we need nature. And uh, post pandemic, we've realized that a lot of new trends have come in. There's also a flip side to this entire thing. Sanitization and hygiene are the top of the mind at all times. For every employer, everybody wants to ensure that it's hygienic and safe so employees return back to work. In air seatings have become the need of design for everybody right now. The nine to five work culture has been reshaped and blurred between home and office that we have you know there are new uh, flexible work timings that have evolved we've also seen that a lot of people even though they're working from home there has been tech challenges like the internet speed and everything which is bringing back people to office and it is also very important to interact with colleagues. With remote working, there's very less interaction with, with colleagues. What does this essentially mean to everybody, right? Though a lot of new trends have evolved post pandemic, is it gonna stay? Is it gonna be permanent? Even though remote working has been adopted, has been adapted, it is not here to stay. It is not the perfect solution. People want to return back to offices. They would want a flexible work environment. 
they they would want to work collaboratively, but there there are changes, right? That employers are going to be looking at. They, they're going to be ensuring sanitization. We're going to be designing spaces which are more open, more collaborative, and more flexible. And we've seen that, you know, a lot of IPCs, everybody, there's a lot of research that has gone into the commercial real estate sector post-pandemic. We The research has shown that the pandemic, ha, you know, the workplaces are changing. Companies are consistently striving to make a better workplace for the employees. Understanding all the changes and, you know, Econex being launched or the whole design thinking process started at the peak of pandemic, where we, you know, we started designing the entire project. Thus, our entire focus was on, you know, how to make this project a successful one and adaptable one for the, you know, post pandemic and how employers are going to look at it. And we had a goal to create a better employee experiences while also giving them freedom to make greater choices when it comes to the way they work. That was very insightful on all the new age commercial requirements that we have. Uh, Mr. Akshay, would you like to share some light on recent reports that support the statement? Sure, Leka. Let's take, uh, take a look at some recent reports. Post pandemic, all the sectors are looking for a better healthy spaces with advanced tech system. Currently, the co-working spaces are now bursting out of scene is because people are not uh, looking forward to work in cubicle spaces. They are looking for something which is more fluidic in nature. In fact, in Bangalore, 1 million square feet of new office spaces is going to come within the next uh, six months, out of which 70% is pre-committed. In fact, now the uh, commercial real estate has started making headlines. For the next five years, that is from 2022 to 2027, the Indian commercial market is anticipated to expand at a compound annual growth rate of 13% in value. In fact, in quarter three of 2022, 3.5 million square feet of uh, commercial real estate was leased out, which is highest in its metro peers. Out of the total 172 million square feet of total inventory in Bangalore, only 8% is uh, unleased as of today. Talking about the micro market, the sub market of Outer Ring Road, 78 million square feet of total uh, inventory only 3.9% is uh, unleased, which is lower than the Bangalore's average. And an average rate of 107 rupees has been achieved, which includes both warm shell as well as uh, plug and play. So what does this basically mean? This basically means that demand is growing for the office spaces. People are coming back to the offices. Offices need to evolve. They need to adapt to the newer norms. Tech adaptation and healthy spaces are rapidly becoming a preferred option. And as the demand is growing, everybody is trying to outdo each other in the futuristic designs. Let's understand RTG. India is known as a young population with an average of 29 years. It is one of the youngest population in globally. Over the next few years, 46% of the workforce in India will be uh, millennials. So it is very important to understand their needs and to cater to it. Let's understand what are they basically looking for. When it comes to millennials, Millennials uh, prefer development and work-life balance over the financial rewards. Their work is powered and dependent on newer technologies. Rigid workspace is a big no-no for them. 
they work hard therefore they require the best from their employers and their workspaces they are highly competitive and they are constantly comparing themselves with their peers before we could draw any conclusion for our project econex we tried speaking to the millennials and this is what they had to say my office needs to be comfortable accessible and not intimidating it's where i spend most of my life after all the office needs to be productive inspiring place coming back from work from home my office needs to be comfortable relaxing as it is productive i work i love working outdoors and admits nature when i was remotely working i was traveling a lot and worked in an open door space i felt i was the most productive i have been then so taking all this data talking to the millennials we went to our uh, drawing boards and we used the simple thing of empathizing with them we empathize and we made this project and this is what we are offering them now we are offering them the space to grow we are offering them a space to excel we are offering them a space to ace their game therefore we call this project spaces for aces thank you for that detailed report mr akshay uh, now let's watch uh, the walk through video of our econex project Just bear with us a moment, please. We are trying to connect. Mr. Kranti, would you like to explain the project details for us? 
I would love to, and I'm excited to do that. Like, uh, thank you. Uh, as my colleagues, uh, Ms. Grishma and Akshay had uh, shared, uh, Econex has been a result of a lot of learnings that we have had and a lot of exercise that we did uh, before entering into the commercial space offerings. As you all have seen, Concord Econex is <clears throat> unique in its uh, design offerings. In design offering, these are new age, innovate, innovative led commercial spaces that we have created. The design, let me start with the design element of the design thinking behind it. The design is fluid, adaptive, and very important what uh, from our learnings that Akshay had mentioned is about collaborative workspaces. The five storied spread across one acre, close to 1.35 uh, lakh square foot spaces are designed to achieve human centric workspaces. The whole design and thinking behind Econex was with the philosophy of having fluid open spaces where finite cubicle work culture has been removed or yeah, I, I might say it is erased. So these workspaces are not just sustainable, but are keeping in mind the human people who are working there. So we call it human centric design philosophy that we have tried achieving at uh, Concordi Connex. And this has been our, this is going to be our design philosophy going forward across our other commercial offerings that we will be coming up in the near future. Going forward, you've, uh, this uh, Concord Econex has been designed by Thomas Associates and Architects. Uh, they are one of the leading design uh, architect firm for commercial spaces uh, in uh, Bangalore and across India. They have, they have around over 200 million square foot of commercial space design that they have completed. They are one of the leading architects that we have hired for uh, Concord Econex. As you know, Concord Econex uh, is termed to be biophilic spaces. We call this. So let's understand what biophilic spaces are. Biophilic spaces are constitutes to eight elements of nature. Elements of air, water, lighting, natural space, uh, landscapes, plants, weather, animals and fire let's start with each elements of, of these and all the eight elements have been incorporated in making concordi connects we have water bodies we have floor to seal uh, ceiling <coughs> facades uh, that uh, that ensures natural light enters all across the 1.35 lakh square foot that is developed. We have natural landscape that is developed around around the one acre property. We have in-house plantations that we have designed in the office spaces and also in the outdoor balconies. We at Concord are proud to say that we Concord Econex gets life back to work. We believe in that uh, statement. So the open landscape spaces, the open balconies that are provided help you to be among nature. And whether being one of the elements of a biophilic space, the outdoor working spaces have been incorporated so that you we all are proud that at, in Bangalore, we have the best weather in India, for a metro at least. So incorporating that 
into the design element at Concord Econex, along with water bodies with fishes. And we are very sure that we're going to attract a lot of uh, birds with the greenery around. All in all, we at Concord believe Concord Econex is designed with for world-class amenities with a world-class feature. Talking about the amenities at Concord Econex, like I have said, uh, we have uh, two, <coughs> sorry, uh, cafeterias, one in the ground floor, which has, which houses four, uh, around 11,000 square foot of cafeteria space with four retails. Uh, and we have a rooftop terrace cafeteria too. We have amenities, outdoor amenities like basketball court and a synthetic uh, lawn for uh, mini miniature golf. Uh, we have indoor uh, spaces for indoor sports like table tennis and pool. Coming back to the location of, uh, I think there's some location of Concord Econex. This is ideally located off the Marathali ORR, which is 200 meters away from the Graphite India Metro Station and 900 meters from the ORR. So the location of it is ideally suited for <clears throat> any grade A uh, uh, office space, as well as uh, companies that are wanting uh, to lease this space. Uh, the neighborhood boasts of MNCs that are product driven across the globe. So Concord Econex is nestled in that neighborhood. Like I said, it's 200 meters from Graphite India Metro Station, 900 meters from a bus stop, uh, one close to one kilometer for uh, to the outer ring road. Marathali Bridge is two and a half kilometers and around 37 kilometers to the international airport. Coming to the floor plans, uh, as you all know, uh, Econex is 1.35 lakh square foot. Uh, has two basement car parks housing around 205 car parks. The ground floor has a cafeteria and an office space, 11,000 square foot of cafeteria and a 10,000 square foot of office space. An average floor plate at Econex is around 22 and a half thousand square foot per floor plate. Uh, that's the average ranging from 20,000 square foot to 27,000 square foot, depending on the uh, on whichever floor uh, we look at. Use uh, one of the features at Econex is uh, you can use it, you can slice it horizontally or vertically. The nature and the features of the property still remains the same. The design, the all the eight elements of a biophilic space is getting incorporated. So it is these spaces are flexible to be leased out to a standalone uh, on its own or can be leased out partially floor wise uh, to any tenants that are, are uh, willing uh, to house their work. the typical floor plans then we, the rooftop cafeteria uh, like I've mentioned uh, is the second cafeteria on the terrace this is the stack planning that uh, I just spoke to you about where you can slice it horizontally and vertically and the design feature and all the eight elements of a biophilic space is incorporated. Coming to the technical specifications, it's a grade A uh, space where uh, any uh, 
multinational company that is required all the facilities and features are uh, designed as per uh, these uh, as per the requirements of uh, a multinational uh, company to lease it has 100% power backup with uh, 11 kva of uh, electrical infrastructure it's a secured uh, a secured building a secure one acre property if i may say with all uh, the must haves of uh, stp rainwater harvesting uh, state of art uh, sanitization and landscapes like i said the property is uh, backed up by 100% uh, power uh, one very important element at Concord is about we being sustainable, all our properties, uh, even in the residential spaces, we try to achieve ma uh, maximum sustainability. And that same uh, ethos has been got into our commercial offerings. Uh, you, uh, that is the reason you see energy efficient lighting and uh, air conditioning uh, for the spaces along with uh, granite flooring is being proposed, but it can be flexible as per the client's requirement. Now, coming to the investment part at uh, Concord Econex, uh, just to sum it up, why invest? It's a 1.3 lakh square foot standalone uh, boutique uh, commercial offering. We believe that as per our learnings uh, where my colleagues have shared we believe a lot of companies would be willing to uh, get on lease uh, as a standalone building or partially we at concord will be holding 70 percent stake in this property we're going to manage and maintain the property uh, all along and <clears throat> most importantly like i said the location it is a very high yielding location where uh, Akshay had said the average uh, yield, uh, rental yield is around 107 rupees per square foot. Yes, that are, of course includes uh, plug and play office spaces uh, for it. So we see uh, uh, the capex appreciation going uh, uh, also being there at the same time rental yield being very high. With this. We would like to offer Concord Econex at 10,000 rupees per square foot. Sorry for the lag, 10,000 rupees per square foot, where your rental yield will be at around 8% and your IRR would be around 18%. The spaces that are uh, <coughs> And we would, and the value appreciation we expect uh, is that for the next two years, that would be the time period for uh, us to complete the uh, construction, would be at around 16% uh, uh, capital appreciation for Econex. The spaces that we are offering is on the first floor. A typical ticket size would be a minimum of, uh, at, at an average of around 5,000 square foot. Uh, would be the uh, offering that any anybody who is interested can buy at uh, Econex. Uh, we have different uh, floor trades. These are the uh, offerings uh, and the first floor and the fifth floor. So all in all, this is our first uh, retail commercial offering from Concord Econex and we are all excited and we invite you to own a piece of this marvel and be part of the Concord family. Thank you. Okay, that was indeed the perfect introduction to our latest endeavor, Concord's foray into commercial real estate is resulting in the most innovative and problem-solving solutions that the 21st century has been craving for. We will change the way Bangalore's work culture is right now. 
by making organizations empathize with their employees and give them what they truly deserve, right? Thank you, uh, panelists, Ms. Mrs. Grishma, Mr. Kranti, Mr. Akshay, for that sound explanation of our wonderful project. And thank you all viewers for joining us today. We do have some questions. Um, so the first one would be for you, Ms. Krishma. Uh, what are the future plans of Concord in commercial real estate? Thank you, Nisha. So what would be our future plans in the commercial real estate? We are very excited to unveil our foray into the commercial real estate sector. Our main USP in commercial real estate is going to be creating experiences for employees with employee experience being at its core. We're designing now for a new world. We're building for a new era is what we understand. An era where employee experience will be the riding factor in deciding what workspaces should be. Where design really matters, we need to now design with employee experience in mind. We would be calling this as designing for aesthetics. We would continue to launch projects in the commercial real estate sector with less than half a million square feet in each project. We would want to you know, uh, launch smaller projects which with less than half a million square feet. And uh, uh, you know, we, we are going to make design thinking as our core. A lot of open workspaces, greens inside out, like, like you'll have seen in Econex. New age led innovative thinking, innovative workspaces, and focus mostly on safety because we've realized how important safety is. Design philosophy is going to be the core of our thinking, green inside out, and a lot of amenities as well. And, and you know, we hope to become a niche player. We've seen that, you know, that our workspaces are going to be niche, and we, we are going to be launching a lot of projects. We have one coming in the North Bangalore, in the Northeast Bangalore as well. and. At Concord, we are going to continue to retain more than 50% and offer the remaining, you know, to our customers to become a part of our family. Thank you, Ms. Krishma. Um, for the next question, I'd like to ask uh, to you, Mr. Akshay, what is the expected rental yield of the project? I'm sorry for the lag for the audio. Uh, uh, in the next, uh, in the outer ring road belt, uh, the current rate is 70 rupees per square feet. But there have been data that have shown that some, a lot of projects have outperformed to the market average. In the next two years, uh, where we are completing the project, it is expected to be uh, between 78 to 80 rupees per square feet. Thank you so much, Mr. Akshay. Uh, there's one last question. Uh, this is for you, Mr. Kranti. What is the minimum square feet area that we can purchase? I, I saw somebody asking it. Um, on an average, uh, like I said, uh, 5,000 would be the average uh, square foot that uh, anybody can own at uh, Concord Econex. But we have, it starts from uh, 4,450, there is one block that uh, we have at 4,450. The minimum uh, area that one has to buy at Concord Econix. Okay, thank you so much, panelists. Uh, you really helped us out with those few questions. And uh, if anybody has any more questions to ask, Ask, we'll be able to get the team to reach out to you. Um, and that brings us to the end of our uh, webinar. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Uh, and uh, we hope you have a great weekend. On behalf of Concord, I would like to thank all the participants. Uh, we hope that uh, Concord Econics has warped you as much as 
uh, we have put in our effort to see the best product in the commercial real estate space in Bangalore out there. Uh, we would be happy to hear your comments. We would request all of you to share your feedback uh, with us and uh, do promote Concordia Connects. Thank you.